Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobrý den, welcome to Me Paintings, I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to show you how I created this amazing fluid art piece. I will be painting on cotton canvas size 50 by 70 centimeters. This cotton canvas is primed, so there's no need to put gesso on it. As a base paint, I'll be using this Dalo blue mixed with pouring medium, so I'm gonna cover the whole canvas with this blue mixture. Spread it everywhere with my spade. And this blue will get really dark because it's, it's a Dalo blue, so it tends to get really dark, almost like black paint. So here's my white mixed with pouring medium and I'm gonna do a line here. And I start pouring blobs of paint inside of this white. I'm gonna start with beautiful teal. Like this. Then I'm going to continue here. It looks interesting like this. I could keep it like this. It would be an interesting abstraction. But what I want to do, I want to create double swipe or triple swipe. I will see how that looks. So I'm going to use this old piece of plastic and I'm going to use it as a swiping tool. That looks interesting, but I want loads of cells. So I'm gonna use my heat gun for the first time. I will use it again and again. So let's just pop a little bit of these cells. And it's perfectly fine if you wanna keep it like this, but I wanna transform it into beautiful, colorful piece. So let's do a reverse swipe all the way there. So let's move it everywhere. So now we should be able to see some cell explosion. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. So many cells. That's what I hoped for. I'm going to show you a little detail because you might not be able to see all the beautiful tiny cells which appeared here. Wow, this will be a perfect background for my tree idea. So I'm going to let it dry for at least a week. It needs to be completely dry before I start turning this into a special piece of art. So see you soon! Paint is dry and it has got some amazing colorful transition and I decided to create these tree shapes from my cells and for that I'm gonna use acrylic marker, black one. I bought mine in local art shop. There are loads of options online. I will put some links in the description box for you. So I'm gonna decide on the shape of my tree and fill some gaps with my marker. So now we can see the shape of my first tree and I'm gonna fill these cell shapes with black.
And I'm also going to paint some background trees the same way I painted these. So these will be hidden behind the main trees. When the trees are done, I'm gonna cover the background with dark turquoise color, and then I'm gonna put some crackle paste on the top of the dark background. So this is how it looks right now and it's completely fine if you want to keep it like this with the dark background but I'm gonna use this crackle paint on the top of my dark paint because I would like to create an interesting effect on my background and there are lots of options online I buy this in local art shop you can buy lots of different shades so just search online for cracking paint system this one could be also nice, but maybe the gray one will work better in this case. So I'm going to use palette knife for spreading this cracking paint around my background. When the crackle paste is dry, I'm going to use some lighter and also darker shades of grey for the background. Now I'm going to work on some shading. I want to paint shadows inside of my cells and for that I'm going to use acrylic marker and I will just draw a line on the top and you have to do this quite quickly. Put your brush in water and then just blend it nicely to create a little shadow inside your cell. I mean, you don't have to do this, but it adds that 3D effect to my cells. And later on, when, when that's all done, I'm gonna paint some reflections inside of my cells. So this will be quite a lot of work, few hours of painting shadows, but let's just make this a relaxing meditation time which you have for yourself and your painting. I will also draw reflections in each cell. It will take some time, but it will make a huge difference to the final look of the 3D cells. So this will be just an easy lines like this, loads of tiny reflections. When I do this, I always listen to beautiful music and it's like a meditation for me. So let's put a little bit of this and this, mix it up and just make these darker spots here and there to add interest into the background because now it's too flat. So I want to make it a little bit more interesting.
and I also decided to use this mixture and relief gilding glue so I'm gonna go over these outlines and create a relief and when the glue gets dry in about a few hours I will put silver sheet on the top of the relief It's white. When it gets dry, it's see-through. That's how you know it's dry. Okay, so it looks like the glue is dry. It's see-through now. So it's time to put my embossing sheet on the top of it. It's called embossing silver sheet. I bought it in local art shop and you just put it on the top of your glue like this. Oops, that was fast. And see, it already stick to the silver foil. Beautiful like that. Now these lines as well. And here you go. It will add a beautiful silver shine into my painting. So let's do it all and show you the finished painting. And this is the result of my creative fluid art tutorial and I love how these trees turned out. They look like little gemstone trees. And the cracks go so well together with my acrylic pour. It shines when it's on the sunshine, but it's dark gray in the shadow. So I hope you enjoyed this creative fluid art tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also see all of my artwork on my Instagram page, Me Paintings. I wish you all loads of success with your art pieces and have a beautiful creative week. Bye.